Hello everyone, just wanted to shoot a short video on how I keep my assassin bugs. Uh, this is pretty much their cage. I've got a lot of questions about how I keep them and this is the answer. Um, you could see that is a pretty large cage with a lot of cork inside. And uh, out of the assassin bugs, these are my favorite because they do venture out a lot more, I've noticed. And uh, they're actually a lot bolder. So with the other species, if I were to, let's, for example, just grab this and turn it over and just look at them like that. They're all going to spit at me. But with the Horda, they really don't give a crap. Um, they, they, I've never been bitten before. Obviously, I've never kind of risked myself. I'm not going to do stupid things just to test them. But uh, I do, I mean, I do come into contact with them fairly often. Not because I'm trying to bother them, but because I sort them out for people that want them um, to ship them out, etc. and whatnot. Uh, one thing I do, though, is I make sure the ones I do ship are on the smaller end, because especially when people want a ton of them, and I put them in a cup, uh, the risk of bad molts and transits seems to increase a lot when you're dealing with uh, larger nymphs. And obviously with the larger nymphs, you also have less chance of fixing whatever happens during shipping so and they grow pretty fast so i've never had a problem with it i know uh, it makes it seem like i'm trying to unload like just baby ones but that's just not the case um and yeah these are fantastic species um let me actually show you because the way i have the cork is actually they're all stacked on top of each other so i can't just like take one out without having to move a ton of them. So let me just move some around. Hopefully I don't crush any on accident. Let's just turn this over. I think one actually fell out of the cage. I have to collect that. But you can see them here, just chilling. And yeah, I've built quite a colony. They're not, they're, they tend to congregate in large groups and certain parts of cork, and then very sparsely in other parts. Um, so what you saw there is a pretty sparse group. When there's a lot of them, there's literally hundreds, um, hundreds in one area. So, uh, yeah, I keep it semi-moist. Um, and with food always available, so, as you can see, my colony is a little bit, you don't see a lot of them out here. And that's because, um, that's because uh, they always have food. So when they're hungry, they're going to be less likely to uh, hide. Or not hide. When they're, they're full, they're less likely to come out because they're not going to be searching for food. They're just going to be chilling um, and to hide them or not. And it's not like they're especially hiding, they're just kind of hanging out. Yeah, by far my favorite species, of inverts in general, actually. Um, yeah. I mean, it's just, there are communal species out there. I just like having cages with a lot of them. I know with, uh, tarantulas, with most species, you need to keep them one at a time, and it, I don't think it's really annoying to have to feed a hundred little cages, especially if you're busy. Whereas you could just set one of these up and just, you know, just drop in a ton of food and they go to work with you. Another good thing about them is you could keep a lot of sizes together. You could see adults just hanging out with the little ones, no problems. Don't worry, that's a shed. Those little, those things at the bottoms are sheds, not dead assassins. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like, I have ghost mantids, which are also considered communal, but it's more likely, more, more of semi-communal, because, uh, like, you need to make them, make sure they're around the same size to avoid cannibalism, whereas these guys are pretty much true communals. You do see some cannibalism, especially when they're very young, but it's, once they get a few hours old, pretty much doesn't happen so yeah that's pretty much it on these guys definitely my favorite species of invert
Look at that one. Just caught. Caught an assassin. I mean, caught a roach. So I noticed some of the nymphs were looking a little hungry, so I decided to feed them. Um, and you'll see some of the insane feeding responses when they're hungry enough. They'll jump across the ledge and hunt them. Uh, this one looks pretty hungry. But he's washing his beak off because he just went for a roach. But he was not successful in catching it. You can actually hear him getting caught right now. Oh, caught it. Unfor I do get so entertained by these guys, but unfortunately, due to the fact that I'm holding the phone to record this, um, it's a little hard to like look under there. Oh, look, yeah. They go nuts. Um, just shake a ton in there. That's how, like, some people think that you just keep them communal because they're not hungry at all. That's not the case. You can see that they're having a feeding response. So obviously they were not full, but they're not going to go after each other um, for quite some time. They're going nuts. Maybe we'll see some footage of some sharing food. Well, that one's coming out to eat. <clears throat> I'll add a couple more over here. Oh, something got caught. Oh, here's some sharing. They're fighting over that roach. Yeah, they are voracious eaters, to say the least. Absolutely amazing and fun to keep out of all the inverts I have. Just look at that. They just go to town as soon as you drop something in there. They don't eat each other when they're a little hungry. There's a shed one. This is the aftermath. Uh, check my page out on Facebook. It's Salaxis Reptiles. S O L. A X I S reptiles and uh, yeah I usually have these guys uh, I do have a separate bin where I sort out ones that are more suitable for wow that's a that's just that roach is getting demolished and this one this one's not even shouldn't even be hungry he's, he's not gonna be able to eat all that these two fatties are trying to share that it's like trying to push me away. Like they're, they're really not flighty. And when they're eating, it's not, it's like they're pushing me with their legs because they're like, don't steal my food with that. <laughs> so yeah, just check my page out. Um, if you want to watch more videos or want me to do another one of these with some other detail, let me know. Um, that email is actually another one you could contact me with on. So, yeah, absolutely amazing to keep. I have several communal species, including uh, emperor scorpions um, and uh, ghost mantids. Uh, that's to say communal predators, invert predators. Um, I've been thinking of trying to get some communal tarantulas, but whenever I did some research on them, some things just like, I don't know, I don't want to go into anything that's super medically significant. Um, these guys do have one of the worst bites I've heard, but definitely not something I would worry about getting to the hospital over. It's more like it's going to ruin my week, you know, something like that. Um, so, yeah, that's it.